Hi. Thank you. Hey everybody! So this vlog is going to be all about my parents' time here in Shanghai. Snat wants to say hi too. You haven't seen him in a while. A little camera shy. As most of you know by now, my parents were here for a total of two weeks. It was a great, great, great time. Of course, we had a blast showing them around our newly adopted hometown of Shanghai, and.、Uh, What was really great was that I got to take vacation from work too during the first week that we were here. So I really got to spend a lot of quality time with them, which was much needed after not seeing them for eight months, about a long time. When they got here, we decided to take them for a traditional Shanghainese meal, where we had the classic xiaolongbao, which is the soup-filled dumplings, and lots of other varieties of dumplings and noodles. We got to watch the chefs prepare. All the dumplings too, which was pretty neat. So awesome first impression for my parents. Yeah, here they are making the dumplings, making the dough by hand. Oh, look how pretty! They put meat in it, pork. It would be too much to tell you about every little thing that we did because. If you guys know me well, you know that I love to plan. So of course, before my parents got here, I had typed up a whole itinerary, and、uh, especially highlighting all the restaurants that I wanted to take them to. And I had a list of all the places to go, and the things to see, and the shops, and all that. So my parents didn't have to do any planning whatsoever, really. I was able to show them. Firsthand, some of my favorite areas of Shanghai, for example, Shintiandi and the Cool Docks and the French Concession. But which was even more cool was that I got to see new places too that I hadn't had a chance to see yet, such as the South Bun Fabric Market, where I had a chi pao tailor made, which is a traditional Chinese dress. My dad and Sunet had some really nice jackets made. And we got to explore the charming alleys of Tianzi Fang, Jade Buddha Temple, and much, much more. Here's Frankie getting fitted for a nice suit jacket. It's gonna look like this. Hello, sir. I need to ask you for you. You want a whole lining or just a half lining? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Half lining is. Half lining. I'll give you one because this is for summer. For summer, yeah. yeah, for hot jacket. Yeah. Casual jacket, maybe、yeah. for half-length. This is a casual jacket, Poppy. Poppy, side in. Yeah, very soft. That's what I'm talking about. Como para meterse aquí dentro, ¿eh? Digo que él me decía que se había comido un pescado que era amarillo. Pues mira, ahí tiene unos cuantos. Mira, eso se lo comió seguro. Claro, mete los hongos, si los pies, ves hongos en los pies y mira tal vez limpios. No, es sí, sin pies. We also partook in some fun activities around town. One day we did a tour of the historic Bund area, which was really insightful actually. And we got to walk in some of the old prestigious banks. And we even got to walk in the Waldorf Astoria, which is really fancy and smells really good. Maybe one day we'll get to stay there. One day we also did a cooking class, which was really fun. We got to cook some typical Chinese dishes: sautéed mushrooms and bok choy, different varieties of mushrooms. And we made a lemon orange chicken, which was really tasty. And our chef was really sweet. And it was really small, intimate class. As of always, my mom came out on top. Number one in the kitchen, I was a close runner-up in the lemon chicken, but my dad, eh, the chicken was a little off. He tried. We all had a really good time. You guys know I love to eat. So does Sunet. 
so do my parents, and we love to try new things. So we really wanted to give them a good variety of food while they were here, of Chinese food and international food. Shanghainese, when they got here, we did dim sum on Sunday. We ate everything from Vietnamese to Japanese and from Nepalese to Spanish. Really good variety. The Spanish restaurant we actually went to on our last night, and it's on the Bund, and it has a gorgeous view, and it was amazing. Best Spanish we ever had, and I studied abroad in Spain for a semester, so I think that's saying a lot. And, uh, yeah, the last two nights, my parents also, instead of staying at the hotel right next to our building, which was really convenient and nice uh, for their time here, they decided to step it up a notch and stay in one of the luxury hotels on the Bund called Les Suites Orient. So that was really fancy. Me and Sinet were pretty jealous. Yeah, hopefully you guys can uh, check out my photos. My mom took a lot of photos as well. I'll make another blog soon talking about our trip to Beijing and me and Sinet's little weekend trip to Hong Kong. If you see my parents, ask them all about it. They'll love to tell you about all their adventures. And here's my dad talking a little bit about what he thinks of Shanghai. So what do you think of Shanghai, Dad? This is the fourth day you're here? So far, I'm very impressed. Uh, very impressed. Okay. It's a nice Please mix. expand. <laughs> it's a nice mix of old tradition from the East mm -hmm. coming together with modern expansion from the West. Yeah, pretty much sums up Shanghai. It sure does. Best of all, get to experience it with my baby. This is true. What was your favorite so far? Uh, I loved the Bund area. I mm -hmm. thought that was very nice. Um, very nice, interesting architecture. Um, and right across the river is the futuristic skyline of Shanghai, which is quite impressive by day and most impressive by night with all of the lights. Mm -hmm. uh, restaurants are fantastic. We've had a classic Szechuan dinner last night, hosted by Dr. Zen, <laughs> dad, and his lovely wife, Mary. Yep. We had an assortment of authentic, flavorful, spicy Szechuan food. Fantastic. It kind of sounded like Anthony Bourdain or something. Yes. And today, as you can tell by my tone, I'm very relaxed. Why, <laughs> you might ask? Because I am enjoying a black tea. Yes. At the Song Fang <laughs> Nice. It's not espresso. No. But it works. <laughs> they got to experience all the neat things about Shanghai and also some of the frustrating things such as the metros. I even lost my parents once in the metro and Poppy was not very pleased. Oops. Mom and Dad are probably coming off this train now. There they are. They got left behind on the last one. <laughs> Oopsies. That's what happens if you're not fast enough to jump in the metro trains here in Shanghai. So I'm just waiting for them. Yay! Safe and sound. Uh oh, wait, I gotta zoom in on daddy over there. <laughs> it was empty. Happy <laughs> not to, please, daddy. Daddy wants to take a taxi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> craziness of fresh hour and just the sheer amount of people that will do anything to squeeze into the metros. We're really, really happy to have them here and we're looking forward to our next guests. I just found out that Noah will be coming in about a week and my friend Amanda might come in June which would be awesome and my friend Andrea is for sure coming in the end of June so we'll be busy 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 and more people to take out and spread the love of Shanghai oh and happy Cinco de Mayo adios